Hi, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. I'm going to do a reading for the Water Nation. Let's see what we have as messages for all the water signs. All right. Ooh, we got a few things. All right. Ha! Water. Water sign and High Priestess. This is using your intuition. And then we have, ooh, Ace of Cups. Look at that, an offer. It could be, it's an offer of something that makes you feel fulfilled. Whether it's a job offer, a love offer. Uh, but cups are mostly about love, but love and relationship. So oh, here we go. So use your intuition when it comes to offers. Uh, you get the sense if something is on the up and up or if something is like not feeling right. So trust your intuition. Okay, Water Nation. Let's see what else we got for Water Nation. Ooh, okay. All right, I see here. All right, so we got, ooh, we got the King of Wands. Ooh, 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 wow, very nice. After, and then we have, oh, wow, the Chariot. Look at that. That is wonderful. Water Nation, stand your ground. Know who you are, stand your ground. Uh, the things that, the goals and the dreams that you're going forward towards. Don't let anyone discourage you. And stand your ground by keeping your focus on what you do want. Not the focus on what you don't want. Okay? Make sure you shift your focus on only seeing what you do want. There's things that are going to pop up and you could see the opposite. You, you could, uh, I mean, you could like, so it doesn't affect you so much. You could correct it in your head, but allow people to have their space and expression. Okay. So High Priestess, Ace of Cups, King of Wands, and then the Chariot. Use your intuition. There's offers coming. Take what is passionate. Like out of these the offers that are coming. This offer, does it bring out your passion? Does it? Not too good to be true type of feeling, but if it's something that would maybe interest you. And Chariot is about making choices and moving forward. So you're going to be moving forward, backed up by a very grounded passion. Okay. Let's get a Galactic Symbols card. They're very good at catching the overall energy. This is for our Water Nation. All right, we got one. Persistence. Persistence, number four. Don't give up, Fire Na uh, Water Nation. Water Nation. Striving to secure the foundations for your future will give you the courage to face your fears. Keep going, stay focused, and commit to creating brighter tomorrows for yourself. Commit to that. Generate positive thinking and a winning attitude. Small steps will turn into great leaps and you will reach personal goals that have seemed impossible. The gods are in your corner. Strong, affirmative actions will be well rewarded. Nice. Very nice. Hey, oh, yeah, baby girl. I got the little chihuahua here and... She, her name is Sassy, and she came into the last reading, and she wants to be the part of this one, too. So this is Sassy. Now you're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> What's a beautiful girl? Here's a toy. Play with your little toy. Squishy toy. Yeah, play with it. So now we'll get a completion of an oracle. Uh, completion of an oracle. I keep saying it wrong. Just one moment. Completion of a Cycle Oracle Deck. It's the deck that I created. And 
it looks like this and it has nice advice or sayings that you can adapt or use for yourself uh, okay for water nation preparation on your part is needed you know what this is about so there's a preparation that is needed to do you want to go down okay just one moment to dog down off the bed there you go all right you go go see daddy all right here we go what else do we have for water nation this is preparation Woo, that flipped Respect your imagination. If you have like a really cool idea or you can imagine like a better outcome of things, respect your imagination. Don't brush it off as, ah, oh, that'll never happen. Yeah, stay in your, in your focus and in your own positivity. Okay? Keep persistent. Use your persistence to stay in a good way for yourself. So things can manifest in a good way. All right, let's get a Moonology card for our water signs. And if you have a lot of water in your chart, you're affected by the moon cycles. But it could be also, in general, most people are affected by moon cycles. But water signs, because the moon uh, regulates water, it affects us all since we're made of 70-80% water. So for the Moonology card, we have bring love into the situation. There's a card in my deck that says, when in doubt, ask yourself, what would love do? So this is where they're asking, like, bring love into the situation. A more loving approach with understanding, compassion, integrity truth that helps set like a sacred space for other people to be able to come forward and then we have a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra and that new moon in libra is coming up so for some of you there's a new uh romantic cycle so for those that are single you may be meeting someone for those that are already in a couple there'll be like a renewed, a new spark. That's where you have that king of wands, king of passion coming in. Like it's renewed sense of, of it feels like springtime in a way, everything new again. You're looking at things in a different perspective and it's, it's actually nice, okay? Let's get a white light oracle for all of you here. Ooh, 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 here it goes. All right, so we have White Light Oracle. So it says, card 21, Seraph of 963 hertz. So it's giving an idea of which frequency. You can go on YouTube and online and check it out and see what that sounds like. And these frequencies are uh, commensurate with our energetic bodies and it helps with because we're all vibration so this vibrates this vibration helps with restabilizing you in a new way because we're always feeling things from everywhere and we kind of so if we uh, be persistent and and keep ourselves in a good way by using these tools that we have that's available and then we become stronger and then things don't affect us as much, although we still have the ability to observe and listen and know what's going on regardless. It, it's very important, especially for water signs or anybody that has uh, uh, empathic gifts or, or was, is able to sense other people. It's very important to remember to observe, listen, don't absorb. When you absorb, you're taking it in and then you're the one that has to go and filter that out. So protect your energy by not absorbing, but observe and listen. So let's see what it says. This is card number 21.
There we go. And I'll hold it up so you can see it while I read the definition. All right. Practice connecting to the joy that is always deep within you. Pay attention to what brings you exquisite delight. If you don't know what it is, you are guided to experiment and explore. Connecting to the joyful capacity of your heart will heal so much negativity and uncertainty. Let your heart relax. Allow the spiritual grace that wishes to reorder your life to manifest its miraculous magic. So the, for those of you that are interested, you can go look for the 963 Hertz and it it helps with kind of soothing things on the inside. You see, feel feel sense, like take, take notes on how you feel, how you sense when you put those uh, frequencies on and listen to them. All right. And then we're going to get a starseed oracle. What is the advice for water nation? What is the advice for water nation at this moment? Ooh, there's come. There it comes. There's one. Celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. When energies move slowly, one way to not get discouraged while we're being persistent and determined is to celebrate the small steps. Celebrate the milestones. Celebrate the little bit. If, uh, if you want to stop having, let's say, negative thoughts, and let's say every time you see, an, let's say every time you see a blueberry, you you get negative. So this time, instead, when you see that blueberry, you catch yourself quickly thinking of something negative because it was a, a, a habit. It was a pattern. So you start noticing your own patterns on the inside. And you're like, whoa, okay, no, I, I can't just, you know. But you, you do it gentle. You don't uh, put yourself down because you thought negative. And it's like, oh, no, no, I shouldn't have. But no, it's your realizing when it happens and you're stopping it in the middle of it because you're realizing it at that moment that is a moment that is very you, you'd be proud of yourself you tap yourself on the shoulder give yourself a hug like yay celebrate those moments because that's showing that you are actually healing yourself because you actually noticed and you know from the past experience that usually you would just not even realize until you saw other people's reactions saying What's wrong with you and blueberries? You know, <laughs> so it's celebrate the small steps. It's important because it keeps you, it keeps you encouraged, and and then you keep moving forward. You keep, you know. All right, what else do we have? Let's get a wisdom oracle for for Water Nation. Okay, there's one that came out already. Discipline. It says discipline. When you have cultivated self-discipline, you can trust yourself to respond appropriately in any situation. This is key to peace of mind. Those who are schooled in personal mastery are in command when faced with challenges. They can show restraint and dignity when others tend to excess. Wisdom guides you to train yourself to be disciplined, set up life-enhancing habits and sensible routines as a foundation for living, then create methods and systems to promote an appropriate way of operating. The rewards will enrich every area of your life. Affirmation, I am disciplined. Nice. And let's get a self-care card for Water Nation. Let's get a self-care for water nation. Okay, split and see. Ah, card number 31. Look at the stars. Look at the stars. So that's part of self-care. Okay. Then... 
I have the completion of a cycle oracle deck. It's a deck that I created. And let's see what it has for an advice for the collective of Water Nation. help you on your journey. All right. For some of you, it says mirror, mirror. You are mirroring each other. For some of you, this is happening. Okay. So basically, if you see something in someone else, it could be you also, it's, it's a reflection. You also have that. Like if if you're talking about the blueberry again, I love blueberries, so I just picked it randomly. Uh, and that blueberry is like making you negative or something. You're like you, you have a negative perspective about that blueberry. It always triggers that. So let's say someone will come up and say, and be just, it'll reflect the same negativity you reflected to them. Maybe they came over and it brought you a whole bunch of blueberries. You know, like, ah, ah, ah. And that person was doing an act of kindness, but you dismissed, you didn't even see that part. You just got triggered by the blueberries. So it's very important to be aware of ourselves. It says you will overcome any challenge. Trust in yourself. And one more for Water Nation. Ooh, do we take it? Listen to intuition. Listen to your intuition. And look, this was the first card. This is like equal. This is... High Priestess is about your intuition. So listen to... It, it starts and it ends with the same message. Listen to your intuition. All right. Okay, so this has been the reading for Water Nation. At I am Tina from Cosmic Turtles. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.